Tonight, jaw-dropping images of an extraordinarily powerful and now deadly volcano erupting in the Pacific Ocean. In 2022, the world witnessed a remarkable natural event, the eruption of a submarine volcano in Tonga. According to a recent study conducted by scientists, this volcanic explosion was not only larger than the largest US nuclear explosion, but also one of the largest natural explosions in over a century. The magnitude of the eruption was truly astonishing, generating a mega tsunami that had a significant impact on Tonga's coastal areas. Despite its colossal size, the mega tsunami surprisingly claimed few lives. Hunga Tonga Volcano Situated in the South Pacific, the Hunga Tonga Volcano is a submerged volcanic complex with its twin islands, Hunga Tonga and Hunga Haapi, acting as the only visible signs of its existence. The volcano resides about 62 miles above a restless seismic zone, known as the Kermatic Tonga Subduction Zone. This area is a convergent boundary where three tectonic plates, Pacific, Kermatic, and Tonga, collide, creating immense geological forces. As a result, the Pacific Plate subducts beneath the Kermatic and Tonga Plates, forming the second deepest trenches in the world, plunging to a depth of approximately 35,400 feet. The Hunga Tonga Volcano is just one of many submerged volcanoes in the longest chain of active and inactive submerged volcanoes globally. Over the centuries, it has erupted multiple times, with records of eruptions dating back to the 11th and 12th centuries. Notably, it erupted in 1911, as well as during the 20th and 21st centuries, causing fear and concern among the people of Tonga. Eruption of 2022 Given the history of the eruptions and the volcanic activity in the area, one might wonder how the massive eruption of January 2022 caught the world off guard. How were we so blindsided by an eruption of such magnitude that sonic booms were heard as far away as Alaska and India? Especially considering that similar eruptions occurred in December 2014 and January 2015. Despite several expeditions to the new island formation resulting from previous eruptions, few were able to predict the unprecedented events of 2022. Calm before the storm. The events leading up to the catastrophic eruption began on December 20th, 2021. The residents of Tonga's capital city, Nukualofa, found their Christmas plans disrupted when the Hunga Tonga volcano spewed out a large volcanic plume. Despite being 41 miles away from the volcano, Tonga Tapu, the main island, experienced the colossal size of the volcanic plumes. The eruption was so powerful that its sounds reverberated as far as 105 miles away from the event. However, by the following day, the eruption subsided and volcanic activity decreased to the point where the volcano was declared dormant on January 11, 2022. Unfortunately, this lull proved to be the calm before the storm. Just three days later, on January 14th, the Hunga Tonga volcano awoke from its yuletide slumber, releasing a towering ash cloud 12 and a half miles into the air. The eruption originated from the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapi submarine volcano, which forms part of the Tongan archipelago. It's located in the convergence point of the Pacific and Indo Australian tectonic plates, making it a region prone to volcanic activity. The explosion, estimated to be equivalent to 15 megatons, surpassed the intensity of the largest US nuclear explosion. This event was a significant milestone, as no natural explosion of this magnitude had occurred in over a century. It revealed the historic 1883 eruption of Krakatoa, which tragically claimed the lives of more than 36,000 people. The Devastating Mega Tsunami The volcanic explosion triggered a mega tsunami, unleashing colossal waves that battered Tonga's coastlines. Along the shores of Tofua Island, waves reached heights of up to 45 meters or 148 feet. On Tonga Tapu, the country's most populated island, waves surged as high as 17 meters or 56 feet. These towering walls of water posed a severe threat to coastal communities, infrastructure, and human lives. To comprehend the behavior of the tsunami and its impact, researchers from the Rosenthal School undertook a comprehensive analysis. They employed a combination of before and after satellite imagery, drone mapping, field observations collected by scientists from the University of Auckland, and data from the Khalid bin Sultan Living Oceans Foundation Global Reef Expedition. 
By simulating the tsunami, the researchers revealed the intricate interplay between the eruption and the unique shallow bathymetry of the region. The shallow seabed acted as a low-velocity wave trap, effectively capturing the energy of the tsunami. As a result, the waves persisted for over an hour after the initial explosion, with some reaching staggering heights of up to 85 meters, or 279 feet. Impacts The eruption had a profound and lasting impact on the Pacific Sea floor. According to a recent scientific discovery, research ships have meticulously explored the area and found extensive debris flows stretching across the seabed, spanning a distance of at least 80 kilometers. This eruption, which left an indelible mark on our planet, unleashed a display of immense power, sending plumes of water vapor and ash soaring halfway into space and generating tsunami waves that rippled across the world. A comprehensive survey conducted by scientists has provided new insights into the scale and magnitude of this cataclysmic event. The mapping of the surrounding volcanic area has revealed the devastating consequences suffered by the sea floor. Astonishingly, the effects of the eruption were even more far-reaching than initially anticipated. The volcanic activity surpassed all expectations and sculpted and scarred the sea floor in a truly remarkable manner. It was the site that left scientists awestruck, with one researcher describing it as an absolutely outstanding event. The explosion shockwaves were felt across vast distances, with reports of sonic booms reaching as far as Alaska and India. Countries in the Pacific region, including Fiji, New Zealand, and Australia, also witnessed the eruption's visual spectacle. Atmospheric shockwaves caused pressure fluctuations, with New Zealand recording fluctuations as high as 7 HPA, while areas in Europe, such as Switzerland and the UK, experienced fluctuations of up to 2.5 HPA. Additionally, over 200,000 lightning strikes were recorded during the eruption, adding to the display of nature's fury. If you're liking the video so far, make sure to subscribe to the channel. The eruption's financial toll was significant as well, with Tonga bearing the brunt of the devastation. The estimated damage to the nation amounted to approximately $90 million, encompassing the destruction of property, infrastructure, and the adverse impact on crops and fisheries. The eruption also severed undersea cables connected to Tonga, cutting off communication with the outside world for several days. The sheer force unleashed by the eruption is exemplified by the astounding volume of material that was displaced. Scientists estimate that approximately 10 cubic kilometers of debris were ejected from the volcano, equivalent to the volume of around 4,000 Egyptian pyramids. Out of this immense amount, two-thirds consisted of ash and rock forcefully expelled from the volcano's opening, while the remaining one-third was composed of materials that were scraped off the sides of the volcano as the debris fell back to Earth and tumbled across the ocean floor. The impact of this eruption is further highlighted by the colossal plume that rose an astonishing 53 kilometers into the atmosphere. Such an extraordinary display of natural power has not been witnessed since the eruption of Krakatoa in 1883. But one might think, despite the sheer size of this volcano, it had a remarkably low casualty count when compared to Krakatoa. Why is that? Given the scale and duration of the mega tsunami, it's remarkable that the loss of life was actually relatively minimal. According to Sam Perkis, professor and chair of the Department of Marine Geosciences at the Rosenstiel School, several factors contributed to this fortunate outcome. Firstly, the geographical location of the eruption played a role. The eruption occurred in a region away from densely populated urban centers, sparing Tonga from a more catastrophic outcome. Secondly, the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic inadvertently played a part. Travel restrictions and reduced pollution density due to the pandemic meant that fewer people were present in the affected coastal areas, reducing the potential for casualties. Lastly, Tonga had implemented increased evaluation drills and awareness efforts in the years leading up to the eruption. These preparedness measures likely enhanced the population's ability to respond to the crisis effectively, mitigating the loss of life. Lessons Learned the Tongan volcanic eruption and its consequential mega-tsunami offer valuable lessons for future disaster preparations. As Sam Perkis emphasizes, while Tonga may have been fortunate this time, other submarine volcanoes possess the capacity to generate tsunamis of similar magnitude. What do you think of the explosion? Let us know in the comments section below and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching.